Jared with NotYourMama'sKnives.com. Today we're reviewing the Masters of Defense Harkins Triton. It's a out the front knife. Uh, this is the box that it comes in. Open it up. There it is inside. And pull out this piece. Pull the knife off. There's also a sheath in the box. Close that side aside. So this is the sheath it comes with. This Velcro has the straps to attach it in your belt either way. So you can have it up or you can have it to the side. And here it is. You know, the coolest thing about this knife um, is that it's being featured in the upcoming James Bond film, Quantum of Solace. And anything Bond has to be cool. And uh, the Harkins Triton is no exception. Go ahead and show you the action on it. It's fairly swift. The blade really locks into place well. It's incredibly strong. Uh, it has the clip on the back. It also, the blade, if you look at it, it has a, uh, a subdued black DLC finish on it. So you can, you know, you can see that there. All Masters of Defense knives are made in the USA. If we go ahead and pull the ruler out, um, you can see that the blade itself is three and a half inches long. That's eight and a half inches total. And when it's closed, it's about five inches, right at five inches, actually. And so, there it is, the Harkins Triton. Um, if we talk about it just a little bit further, you know, there's, there's just not that many left in the country that are for sale. It's a discontinued knife. They stopped making them about, uh, I don't know how long ago, but about a year and a half ago is my understanding. And there was a bunch left in the warehouse. And when our distributors saw the trailer for the upcoming James Bond film, they saw this knife. And they were able to figure out which one it was. You know, there was some question as to whether Bond was using the Prana Excalibur or whether this was the knife. But if you look, the real difference between the Prana Excalibur and the Harkins Triton is right here at the edge. And if we were to compare the two, the Excalibur has a wider blade that goes a little bit further out. And the Harkins Triton stops at these two corners there. And so it was definitely the Harkins Triton that was being used. And so our distributor bought up everything that was left in the country. And when, they, when we found out that they had purchased everything that was left in the country, we purchased everything they had. Um, and so, you know, what we've got is what we've got. We only have enough to last us for a little while. Um, but this, this is it. I mean, this is the, this is the new James Bond knife. Um, definitely a collector's item since they're no longer making them. And something that I would recommend for every serious knife collector's collection. Um, as always, it's definitely not your mama's knife.